In this four part series, I'll be covering quick and effective street strategies to help you ride safe and confidently. As always, let's ride. Okay, this is our street strategies part one, and we're gonna be talking about lane positioning. Let me step right here. And just to give you a reference, we're gonna have lane positioning within your lane. So you have lane position one on the left side, lane position two in the middle, and lane position three on the right side. So when we're talking about lane positioning, that's exactly what we're talking about. Right now I'm in lane position two. This will be lane position one, and then all the way to the right of my lane, this will be lane position three, okay? So keep that in mind as we talk about lane positioning. So here we go, we're gonna talk about lane positioning. I have my uh, uh, video notes right here to refer to, and we're gonna be talking about lane choice. Choose a lane where you can see ahead, okay? You wanna have a clear sight way in front of you and make sure that you choose a lane position that will give you the best uh, vantage point for that. Avoid frequent lane changes. You want to be predictable. And what I mean by that is you want to ride in a consistent manner that everybody around you knows exactly what you're going to do. If you ride erratic, crazy, and all that stuff, uh, people cannot predict what you're going to do. And, you know, you can confuse them, thus causing an accident, either with you or with the other person. And make sure you maintain your space position, right? You don't want to be riding up on somebody's ass and they all of a sudden stop putting you in a predicament where you have to avoid the uh, collision by maneuvering. Uh, that way, if you keep uh, proper positioning, proper spacing between the car in front of you, uh, you can take evasive maneuver way ahead of time before you reach that obstacle or that uh, situation. Ride at the speed of traffic, right? If you are in the highway or out here in the streets, uh, follow the uh, the traffic in front of you. If you need to pass because you're in a rush or what have you, uh, you're late, uh, make sure you pass safely and make sure that people know exactly what you're going to do by using the proper signals. And when you're riding, right, you have to uh, also keep in mind you want to uh, plan for an escape route. So if something happens in this situation here, I have to plan to use the shoulder or the median if, I, if there was one here uh, in order for me to avoid some sort of collision or obstacle or what have you uh, where I have to quickly maneuver out of the way. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if it was me, I'd rather take my chances with the side of the road than against a vehicle. So if it was between me crashing against a vehicle or me hitting the sidewalk here uh, to avoid that, I'm gonna hit the sidewalk. I believe that's gonna be a lot less painful. All right, here we go going a little faster now. Let me lower my bias here. On freeways with two lanes, you want to stay on the right lane. That way you have the shoulder to escape out of. If you are in a highway or freeway with three lanes, you want to stay away from the right lane to avoid traffic getting off, right? And that way you can either ride in the middle or the left lane. So that way you have an escape route. And here we're gonna get into the freeway. And here we go, we started again with the uh, shoulder. Now keep in mind, you have this barrier here on the right side, and that's not gonna give you much of a shoulder as an escape route. If you notice on the left-hand side, you have a bigger shoulder. So in this instance, although it's two lanes, I would ride on the left side, which I'm gonna do right now. Make sure I look over. Uh, and see now I can use this shoulder on my left right here uh, as an escape route although it's full of junk I rather deal with that junk than being uh, hit by a vehicle or some type of obstacle and of course you know the situation was dictate right you got all these traffic cones or these traffic barrels and all that so you have to uh, work accordingly when you change lanes make sure you look over your shoulder to make sure nobody wants to occupy the same space. Use your turn signals, use your hand signals, whatever you need to do to become visible and let people know what you want to do. So what I was talking about earlier, you, you want to divide your lane into thirds. You have lane position one on the left side, lane position two on, in the middle, and lane position three on the right hand side. And that's what we're gonna be talking about next. 
and you want to adjust your lane position based on the conditions uh, that you're facing, the traffic conditions and so forth. You want to change lane positions within your lane to avoid hazards, bad road conditions, and also improve your visibility. How far can you see ahead of you, right? If you're riding up on somebody's eyes, you can't see so much ahead of you. But if you ease back and you get more distance between the vehicle in front of you and so forth, the further you can see ahead. So the use of specific positions are as follows. In lane position one, which is your default position, is always going to be right here on the left side. And I know I have a trike and I can't get over like a two-wheeler can, but trust me, you can get a trike further over into that left position than what you think. So over here, I want to make sure that this knucklehead sees me, right? So I stay out on my left position so he can see me in his mirror. I get out of his blind side as quick as possible. You want to use the left lane position in urban riding in order to see cars backing out of the driveways on the right side. Also, you want to stay on this left position uh, whenever you're riding either urban or highways, freeways, or uh, suburban areas to keep the uh, vehicles on your left from sharing the same lane you are. That way they have to be forced to move a little bit to their left to uh, stay away from your lane. Also, you want to use the left lane position to increase your line of sight down the road, right? Uh, if I'm riding here in the middle uh, and the orange car that's in front of me, that Kia, right? I can't see too much further in front of me. However, if I move over here to my left lane position, you see how much further I can see ahead of him? And that increases my visibility and it lets me know what's going on ahead. Also, when you're riding in urban areas where you have uh, parked cars on both sides of the road, uh, you also avoid uh, parked cars from opening the doors and jamming you up and causing an accident. If you are approaching a uh, intersection that has limited uh, visibility on the right side, uh, staying in the left lane position will give you a lot better visibility of what's on the right. As opposed, if you were riding right here on the right lane position, position number three, and you have an intersection, Man, it's going to be difficult to uh, see around that uh, right turn if you're not positioned properly. We're going to get off here real quick so I can show you some intersections with limited view. So again, I'm going to put myself here on the uh, left lane position, position number one, right? Uh, lane position number one to show you what I was talking about. So if I'm in the middle lane, position number two, right? and I can't see around this vehicle, I position myself on the left-hand side to see beyond him or beyond that vehicle in front of me. So here we go, right? We're making a uh, right-hand turn. So if I position myself on the left, I can see further ahead as opposed to, and I believe that's gonna be another uh, right turn coming up. And I'm gonna position myself on the right. You're gonna see how much less I can see around that turn. Well, here we go. Here's the uh, left turn. So if I position myself all the way over here, you see how much I cannot see around that turn? Where if I position myself on the left side of this turn, see, I can see much, much better further down the road. And that's what lane positioning does for you, right? So pick the lane that gives you the best visibility around corners, around intersections, and so forth. So here we have a turning lane in the middle of this road. You have two lanes per side, and then you have a turning lane in the middle. You can use a turning lane as an escape route, given that there's no oncoming traffic. In the center position, this is to help with hazards on both sides of the road. If you're riding down a narrow street and you have parked cars on both sides, uh, riding in the center lane position will be your best bet. Uh, to avoid, again, uh, vehicles backing out of driveways, doors opening on either side and so forth. Also, the center lane position will help you when you're cresting a hill. If you're going up a hill and you cannot see the oncoming traffic, being in the center lane will help you, especially if there's a slight turn either right or left past that crest of that hill. Uh, if you stay in the center lane, you should be okay. Uh, if you were in the left lane position or the right lane position and that crest starts to turn right or left, you may be too close to oncoming traffic uh, putting you in a bad spot. So also the center lane position allows you visibility 
when you have a narrow line of sight on both the left and right side of an intersection if you're coming up to an intersection that has a bunch of trees on the left and the right and uh, you have limited visibility on those uh, on those corners or the, those intersections your middle position will be your best bet so when do you want to ride the uh, position number three lane position three all the way on the right hand side right here imagine you have two lanes both going in opposite direction if i'm riding in this lane down a, down a road let's say a country road and i see an oncoming truck i want to ride on the right hand side here to avoid the uh wind blast from that big truck coming on me right also if you have a long line of vehicles oncoming vehicles riding on the right hand side will provide you the furthest distance of visibility past those vehicles. That way, if somebody's trying to uh, pass vehicles uh, on the opposite direction, right, coming your way, you could see them a lot sooner than if you were riding on the left side and you can't see them coming up, especially on a, on a curve. Uh, riding in this uh, lane position three, it allows you to see better when approaching a left-hand curve. If you curve turns left like this, uh, being in this side of the lane allows you the furthest distance of visibility. So you can see way, way ahead of you. Uh, being in lane position three, so it allows you to be visible at an intersection with limited view to the left. So follow these simple yet important uh, strategies to keep yourself uh, and others safe. If you got value from this video, uh, please share with your family and friends. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Watch the next video in this series, uh, part two, three, and four, to increase your skills, and I'll see you there.